Hey, what is up, guys? I got a quick update for you. I am back at XS Motor Works, and I'm here with Brian. Brian, say what's up. Hey, guys, Brian has really gotten to work while I've been away. Uh, he has now had to frame. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I tell you what, we're gonna get right back in the shop. We're gonna get on this thing. Brian has the frame fully assembled now. Well, partially assembled. He's just working on the suspension components now. And he also has all the batteries mounted in the frame. In addition, he has this fully wired for a high voltage system. So right now, this is a fully energized pack at around 370 volts. Um, in regards to that battery pack, Brian cut off two kilowatts per pack which is now limiting or lowering this pack to 30 kilowatts, but we are still obtaining an extremely high amount of power that we're gonna be sending to this Tesla motor, which is super exciting. And also like Brian just said, we're gonna overcharge him. Chevy. Anyway, exactly, if it blows up, it blows up. Just don't try to send home kids. So with this Tesla drive. Right, we don't exist, and you didn't see this on this channel. So over here, guys, looking at these components here, I just wanna give you a quick overview of what we're doing and how they interface with this chassis. These are two Chevy Volt chargers that are rated at 3.3 kilowatts a piece. So we're gonna be charging this battery at around 6.6 .6 kilowatts, which is pretty quick for that for this pack size. And also we have a DC to DC converter. This component here is what allows us to reduce that voltage from 370 down to a usable 12 volts so we can run lights, charge our accessory battery and different things like that. So Brian, uh, he briefly mentioned on his other video, he is using Chevy C7 Corvette suspension components. So he's waiting on a few more parts to come in the mail and then we'll be able to have this as a rolling chassis. And what's your estimates, Brian, on when we may be able to drive this car? Slowly, uh, not very quickly, but we will be able to drive, I'm hoping by the end of the month, okay? So really, we've got that list. You might want to show them the list of what we need to get accomplished. Um, and once that's, uh, that list is done, the car will, could be under its own power. Excellent, guys, this is super exciting. As you can tell, with Tesla's new Roadster on the horizon, we're gonna try to beat them to the punch with our own Tesla Roadster. Um, and we have some pretty ambitious goals for this project, and uh, we definitely have the know-how, know -how, at least we think we do, or we hope we do. But look at our to-do list, guys. Um, we only have a few things compared to the gas counterpart which is over here. Brian's gonna be mentioning a lot of that on his channel, but he's gonna going for like a sleek Lamborghini Huracan, some something along that line. Lamborghini, American Lamborghini Huracan style. Okay, yeah. And same body work is gonna be transferring over to the electric version. So we're doing a direct comparison, gas versus electric. Guys, I got my money on electric because the, the energy potential can be easily scaled versus gas. Of course you could throw turbos on there, but we can also throw more voltage here, so. Well, actually, Brian has a supercharger, correct, uh, correct, I stand corrected, but uh, I'm still going to have to go with electric, guys. So if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe uh, my channel. And I'm also going to put Brian's link because he's following, he's covering the, the build very in depth on his channel. So you can figure out how he works the suspension geometry, how he does the frame fabrication. All of that is on his channel and you find out the electronics on my channel. So guys, this is a quick overview. I'm going to have a lot more updates coming soon. So stay tuned to Invoke Performance. Like and subscribe later.